Hey guys, boy Jackie, I'm back with another video, and today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with me canceling my Adobe Premiere subscription and switching over to DaVinci Resolve. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, I am basically done with Adobe Premiere Pro. And there was a couple of reasons why I am done, but honestly, the main reason why is because it takes 20 something dollars every single month while DaVinci Resolve is free. Of course, both editing softwares have their pros and cons. Um, I just don't feel like there is a need for me to continue with Adobe Premiere Pro as right now the job I have, I don't really need Adobe Premiere Pro. I can get away with editing my YouTube videos on DaVinci or even short films on DaVinci. Um, I just don't feel like there is much of a need right now for Adobe Premiere Pro. And as I previously said, DaVinci is free and I need to save a couple dollars because I am a broke college graduate now. So with that said, let's move on to my computer. So here we are on my computer right now and basically let me show you guys my screen. So actually a long time ago, I don't know how long ago, but basically sometime in around the end of December, middle of December of 2023, my Adobe stopped working. And you guys know with Adobe Premiere Pro, once it crashes, it kind of just makes you lose all your progress or sometimes, you know, I don't know for me personally, my thing was that my film was stuttering. Like, um, I think it fixed itself because I think it automatically updated because during the end of the month of December, I got an email saying that the upping the charge from like $22 to $26, something like that. We'll probably get more information when we get onto the website, but basically, um, it was stuttering where I couldn't even edit it and I don't know if it was my PC or Adobe So I decided to download DaVinci Resolve and on DaVinci Resolve it was perfectly fine It was just Adobe. So with that said though, we are on Adobe. We're just gonna see if this plays right now This is just one of my uh, vacation vlogs that I filmed and edited a while ago, which is the carnival elation um, So yeah, basically let's just see um, if it plays So just let me know if you guys want to see me be um Let's just, let's just see. Um, Cause what was happening was basically when I needed to move things, um, it wasn't letting me move things, but now it seems like it's fine, I guess. Um, but basically the problem I had before was basically that I was not able to move it. I was not able to edit it seems like it's working fine now but the main reason why i just want to end my adobe is just because it's just it's too much money and i don't really get the funds and i could just really do everything that i want to do on davinci and let's be real i've been using adobe for the past four or five years and my editing still sucks on adobe so why not try something new and maybe become a better editor but before we move on and canceling my subscription or whatever we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of adobe premiere pro so as I previously stated, one of the cons is that it costs money. And another thing is that when it shuts off or when it just stops working, it stops working for a while or it just doesn't save your progress. And yeah, it just, yeah. Another thing is when you are editing on Adobe and it's lagging or stuttering or whatever, it's very, very annoying and frustrating because it's just like, it feels like I, can't, I don't know it is it, the frame by frame per second is just not there and I'm definitely doing a bad job of explaining this but it's just so laggy to the point where me personally I get so frustrated and I just can't handle it um the pros of Adobe Premiere Pro is that you know I've been using it for a long time it's easy I can get my basic edits that I want to do with it um, but Another con is just that if I want to do any other After Effects or any other things, I would have to pay for Adobe's other products, um, and it's just too much money because if I want to do stuff in After Effects, I have to pay all this money for the After Effects and then sit there and struggle and use that. Um, the main reason why I really want to get rid of Adobe Premiere Pro is that I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for a long time, and I suck at editing. So that's kind of the main reason but with that said DaVinci Resolve that gives me an opportunity to grow and become a better editor and learn different things so with that um, all of my Adobe files projects that I have they're all saved up in the file um, I'm gonna have them if I ever come back to Adobe Premiere Pro but we'll see because 
lately majority of my videos that you guys have been seeing have been edited on DaVinci Resolve and I think I want to take a step in that direction all right so after about four years because I've been subscribed to Adobe Premiere Pro since January 16 2019 um, paying $22.99 a month um, I am canceling my plan so let's just cancel my plan and yeah that's that's it all right so when I cancel my plan I'm losing all of that um, yeah continue to cancel just not worth it it's not worth it um, accept the offer for 60 days Wow they really want me to stay uh, nah I'm canceling though $22 a month you do that math that's a lot of money a month I don't know you can still be a part of the I don't care I don't care um, I've canceled my subscription basically you do the math let's do the math real quick let's go to calculator um, 22.99 times 12 months that's basically 275.88 when you can get the Vinci Pro for free or or let's go let's go to the Vinci let's go to the Vinci right now I don't know how to spell the Vinci bro so I just googled DaVinci Resolve price right here it says how much does DaVinci Resolve cost which is 295 which is a flat fee which is a lifetime um, with updates and you will never have to pay a monthly fee or ever again basically compare that to how much you would paying per year for Adobe which is basically uh, you pay 275 um, all you gotta do is pay $20 more for one time and you get DaVinci Resolve for the rest of your life versus paying this amount every single year that you have Adobe Premiere Pro which is a lot so huge W by DaVinci Resolve so basically with that said some of the pros and cons of DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve is known for the color correction something that I'm still getting into so I'm not really that good with it anyway so that's something that I can learn another thing with DaVinci Resolve is that it's very straightforward it's very easy to use it kind of puts you in line of order of what you should do what you should be cutting editing adding in um, cuts um, dissolves or just any transitions and then audio is last and then you export it it's just a lot easier and I uh, definitely took me a minute when I first opened DaVinci Resolve it took me a minute to get used to it but now I am getting the hang of it and hopefully my editing can become better in the future and plus I'm saving a lot of money the cons of it is that sometimes it does look a little tricky and it's just for me switching over from Adobe to DaVinci just a lot of things for me to learn a lot of things for me to do differently but with time I will eventually get everything down um, but we'll see we might make an update video in a couple of months years whatever saying I hate it or whatever or just an update on how I feel about DaVinci Resolve but with that said though I don't think I have anything else much left to say and I don't want to ramble too much but basically I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys understand why I switched over from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve and let me know which one you guys use down below let me know how I can become a better editor give me tips give me whatever can help me become a better editor I will take any advice I can get but with all that being said though I don't think I have anything else left to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.